Our cameras on one man. Many think he's on the verge of leaving the club, but he starts this game live on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Aston Villa up against Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Punched away. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. In position here to protect the ball. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. Well, sometimes we look for an explanation and just can't find one, but the truth of the matter is Liverpool have been well below par. Well, what a poor season they're having. I really thought they would be challenging for the title. There just seems to be something wrong with the attitude of the players at the moment, and that needs to change quickly. He has time to play it over. Mohamed Kudus. Into the advanced position. A wonderful intervention. Feeney. Ramsey has it. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Arsenal simply had too much about them in their win against Burnley. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Well, that 2-0 victory at home was not as easy as the scoreline suggests. They were just better in both boxes. Today will be tougher, though, and I'm expecting a really close contest between two well-drilled teams. I'm going for a draw, as it's difficult to separate them. Oh, lovely incisive pass. And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely! Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Now a decent position. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So, back underway. One goal apiece here. Mohamed Kudus. Saka. I'm hearing there's been a goal at the London Stadium. That means we join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Chelsea. They've scored the opener with 25 minutes on the clock. Alex with the info as ever. 
Unable to keep the ball that time. It is a decent looking attack here. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And promising stuff from Arsenal. And there's the feed into the box. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Let's join Alex because I think there's been a goal at Selhurst Park. It's a goal for Palace. He shot far post, the keeper parries it, but the rebound has been put in nicely. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 31 minutes on the clock. Many thanks, Alex. Ramsey has it. Oh, he's given the ball away. Maitland Niles. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Lovely ball over the top. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. He's in control of the situation. Feeney. Well, as the stats show us, Aston Villa have had most of the play, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Crossing possibilities. Has a go. Able to get a body in the way. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. The managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Second half underway, and Arsenal looking to build upon a largely positive first-half performance. Mohamed Kudus. And possession given away. Ramsey. This attack looks highly promising. Surely the equaliser, and it's a goal, level again, what a match this is turning out to be. Well here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me, no wonder he's frustrated with himself.
So back underway, the game having been squared at 2 2. This is looking threatening. Saka, crossing opportunity. Kudus. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. He got in the way of that cross. But I'm hearing a goal has gone in in the Palace match. Alex Scott will tell us all about it. It's a second goal for Spurs. It was all in the build-up play for me. So many different players involved. And once the space opened up, he took his chance superbly. It's now 2-1 with 54 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Well, there's no getting away from it. He has been the subject of transfer speculation. Stuart, interested to know your thoughts on the matter. Well, the figure being talked about is around £60 million, which can certainly be justified when you look back at his recent performances. It's now just a matter whether they find that acceptable. Error by the keeper might give them a chance. Pellegrini. Dangerous ball. Brilliantly blocked. Not a touch off the defender last of all, so a corner. And the substitution will occur now. Number eight, Morgan Sanson. To be replaced by number 20, Rodrigo. Who can they pick out? Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. Feeney. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing Norwich City. Pellegrini. Chance to play it in. Oh, moving it nicely. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. This might be ideal for the counter. Fabier. It's neat passing. Confidence on the ball. Bentancourt. Well, he's bound to be disappointed with himself. Not a great effort, Stuart. Well, the less said about that, the better. Not a good decision from him. Well, they've decided to make a change. And news of a goal in the West Ham match. And Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal for West Ham. They are now behind 2-1 with 73 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always, Alex. Pellegrini, he's given us away. Not a good pass. Pellegrini. He's going forward well here. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, here's the replay, and just look how close this is. May not have been given in my day, but the technology's certainly shown its worth here.
What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And it should be a tremendous Carabao Cup quarter-final. You can see it live with us here on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Southampton. Well, Derek, everything to play for in that game. A place in the last four. What a game that should be. It should be really tense. It should be dramatic. And I'm looking forward to it. Well time tackle. Austin Trusty moving towards full time, and it's a matter of whether or not Arsenal can preserve the victory. Stewart, what have you made of their performance? Well, what a finale we have here. Both sides have looked good going forward, but poor defensively. But I do think they have been the better side for much of this game. They just need to defend their box with determination in these last few minutes. Rebier. Really good challenge. Physically strong and secure. Oh, is it going to be a red card? Well, not a red card, just a yellow. Interesting one, Stuart. Well, I have to say, I think the referee's got that absolutely right. I don't think it was a red card. I'm not sure it was a goal-scoring opportunity. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Pellegrini. Intercepting it intelligently. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Rebier, superb block. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Rebier. And attempting the through ball. And now it is official. The referee brings this match to an end and it's a victory for the Gunners. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end.